Hey everybody, it's Bertie here, the Recycled Hippie Chick. I am ready to work in a journal. I know this is my very large journal, so it probably won't be in frame very well, but I will try to, I'll try to move it around, okay? Oh my gosh, it is so hot in here. I've had this darn air conditioner on all day, and it is 85 is all the cooler it has gotten it down to. I had to move my fan because I had a leak. My air conditioner is one of those portable ones, and you have to run the condensation hose into something to catch the condensation. So I have a big two-gallon um, watering pail, you know, watering can sitting under it. And as it fills up, I take it out and water flowers with it. Well, just today, it filled the two-gallon water pitcher up, overflowed, and ran back underneath my two file cabinets in the corner. So I've spent the past 15 or 20 minutes sopping up water, sticking towels back in the corner with my broom and dragging them back out and wringing them out trying to get all the water out of the corner. Yes, yes, it's humid in Kansas. So, I've got my fan over there trying to dry out the corner. So I'm not, you know, I don't have a fan blowing on me right now. Okay, sorry, I had to get a drink. All right, here we go. I want to work on a, a page in here. I have been saving this picture of this cute little lady for I don't know how long. Does this have a date on the pages? No, it does not. Oh, look at her. It looks like my Carly. I found a Carly feather stuck in my tape dispenser over there, my packing tape, and I thought, well, this is meant to be. I. I found this cute picture that I said I'm gonna do something with this today and I found a Carly feather and we may just tear this one out too and work on it. Carly, I don't know if you guys remember back that far, used to come in my doggy door and get a cracker every day and she even laid an egg in my cat litter box once. <laughs> so anyway, yeah, today's chicken day you guys. So let's see if we can find a worthy enough page. If we tear this out, let's see if we can find a page worthy, wide enough to fit this image. The other one should be easy. She's a little square, but oh boy. Okay, we'll see if we can find one wide enough. What's this one? We may have to put it back here. Let's see here. Okay, let's just do it. Oh, she can put it down here. Nope, let's go over here and do it inside of here. Oh, both of these fold out. Let's do it on the back side of this. We'll just cut this hand off a little more. How are you guys doing? I have notes in the living room to talk to Miss Moss about and didn't bring them out, so. So I'm not gonna be able to chat with Miss Moss during this video. I found, oh gosh, you guys, I'm just totally not prepared. <sighs> I found a couple of my new subscribers. I've checked out their videos. I was gonna mention their name and talk to them and I can't remember, my brain is mush. You will quickly learn this about me. Um,
so yeah, I'm not going to be able to talk about any of you guys today. <laughs> or talk to you, not about you. Or, or about you. Because I can't remember anything to talk about you. So, you know me, I'll come up with something. But it's not what I wanted to say. Okay, let's see what we can do here. First of all, let's just... I thought this wrapping paper was cute, so I thought we would put a little bit of it on for collage. I was wanting to do my um, vintage caravan prompt, which is around the campfire, and I could not find anything that had anything to do with a campfire. So that didn't go well with me. So until I can find something like I did with my gypsy page, now I'm running across all kinds of gypsy pages. I'll just have to slack back until I get inspired and find something, which I will. I pulled it out with the uh, gypsy page and I will eventually find something for around the campfire. Good grief, the prompt was my idea. And I can't find anything. So, you know how that goes. I uh, went to the dump today. I took you along with me. But I don't know if I should show it. I don't know how, you know, I'm the, that girl that takes pictures of her food and puts it on Facebook and you know I'm that girl that you probably know more than what you want to know about so I have to have a, we have to have a family meeting and I need to talk to you about that stuff how much do you want me to take you on like Janet Nash has these cute little clips at the end of her video of her tiptoeing through the tulips and showing Freddie playing in the water well, mine are amputee turtles and trips to the dump, okay? Mine is not a bed of roses like, <laughs> like Janet's is. So, do you want to go with me to the dump? Or do you want me to just ixnay that stuff? Because, you know, I'll do whatever. I'll show you my clips of the dump, or if that's too much information... I will uh, curtail that. I took you on my trip to the lake, but I haven't showed it because I feel like when I watch, watch it back, I feel like I whined about my anxiety too much. In every clip, I say something about my anxiety. So I'm like, oh my gosh, these people do not want to continue to hear about your anxiety. So that's another thing. I haven't shown you my clips of the lake. I took you for a ride on my jet ski. I took you for a walk one morning up by the, up in the campground, but I don't want to I don't want to whine. I don't want to be that whiner. I'm trying to have therapy so that I don't have to whine. I don't think I should come on and whine. So I'm not sure I'm going to, I'm not sure I'm going to show those. So anyway, give me your feedback on what you think about all that therapy crap that I'm doing. And uh, we'll go from there. How's that? Um, also, I have a, I have a, a chore for y'all. Uh, I'm I've been asked to be on a hop. I have no idea what a hop is, but I said yes, I will give it a try. But one of the things about the hop is we're supposed to turn in some questions. Uh, are they questions we will answer? Are they questions? Yes, the questions the artists will answer while they are doing their video, I believe. So, do you guys have any questions that I could use or answer or ask or whatever? 
Do you have any artist questions? That's my question. And if you do, would you put them in the comments so I could draw from them and use one or some of them, however many I'm supposed to turn in? I really would have liked for this to have been under that, and I really can't pull it up now. Dag nabbit. That's okay. Let's just embrace it. So anyway, let me know if you have any artist questions I could turn in and use. I would appreciate it. I don't know if it's a question about the artist or if it's a question about art in general. So there you go. Shooting from the hip. You just give me some questions and I'll ask them which ones would be the, the what's they're looking for. I know I'm going to be in it. Nina Fickett. Is it Fickett? Nina Fickett or Fickett? See, I should have wrote all this down. You guys know how I am. I'm out here cleaning up water and the next thing you know, I'm doing a video. I, I am not prepared. And I think, uh, let's see, Nina, Nina Fickett. Um... Ricky Ticky Tobby, myself, uh, what's that one lady's name? Tag Nabbit. Oh, that one gal's name. I know it. Give me a minute and maybe I'll think of her. And maybe I won't. If I don't, I'll list her down below. Anyway, those are some of the people that are going to be in the hop. Those are some of the people who are hopping. It should be fun. Well, let's turn it up like this. That'll be kind of cool. Okay, now. Got us a little collageness going on. I need to do. I need, I've got ideas, but I don't want to just sit around and do master boards with you all the time and tags and stuff. I want to actually work in my journal. It seems like I've been kind of getting away from my journal and doing ephemera, and I really want to get back to working in my journal. So I really wanted to see that nest. I may not be able to put her. I may have to put her over here. I may just have this cute little lady right here. Okay, because I want to see that nest. So let's go ahead and get some, get a little bit of grunge going on here with my coffee. pause you for a minute and dry this a little bit okay it's not completely dry but it is so humid in here I'm not sure that it'll be dry the rest of the night so we're just going to continue on I want to do some stenciling let's see here what could we use for chicken stencil Something that would go well with a chicken.
Well, when all else fails, pull out the dots. Let's do, let's do a color. Let's do a, a paint color. Let's do some green. Okay. Let's find my little daubers. I finally got all of my goat fencing to the landfill. Took me two trips. Last month I took some. This month I took some. And uh, it feels so good to finally get it done. Then I also stayed out there today while it was halfway overcast and cleaned out some more of the stalls. I just have about half of one stall left and I should have the barn cleaned out. So I'm excited about that. Um, let's do some blue. Well, where, where's our picture? Where's our lady? Maybe some gray. Let's do some gray, since that's what's in her shirt. Okay, let's do some barn graffiti with the gray. Looks to like somebody's been putting graffiti on the walls in the barn. sure we can see that very well. I probably should have used a darker gray. But that's okay. We're just adding texture, aren't we? I want you to know that I told you, you know, I kind of have a control issue needing to pick the campsites and stuff. And that I was going to go down there and, and embrace the imperfectness if it, if everything wasn't perfect, because I can't always control that, I need to tell myself. And by golly, I did. I went down there and, and embraced the imperfectness. Our campsite was probably the worst one in the campground. And the lady told us we could move if we wanted, and I didn't. Now... I have some gray left over here and I would like to just get rid of it somewhere. So I'm going to put some over here. So that that'll give us a head start on that background one day. And I stayed on the on the campsite. And I survived it. The water was phenomenal. Loved the lake. We had a really good time. Not going to talk about the therapy part because if I end up showing those clips, you'll hear all about it. Okay. Now, let's see here. I feel like feel like she needs something under her, you know, to offset it, like maybe another piece of, well here, how about this little piece of coffee dyed paper from Grandma Z.
Okay, let's get a stamp out. Let me get, let me get a stamp. Okay, let's do some script, random script, and let's put. Would that be too much to put a rooster down here? Doesn't matter because it's mine, right? And if I enjoy it, that's all that matters. It's not like I'm going to sell this. Let's ink this up first because I like everything inky. I used to Stabilo around everything. Like, if it didn't have black Stabilo around it, I didn't feel like I journaled. But I've kind of gotten out of that. I've gone to brown inking. It's kind of a little different phase in my life. Okay, let's put some random. Ooh, I like that. Ever so faint. I like that. Okay, now we got that. You guys probably can't see it, but it's on there. Just some ever so slight. I put this like this. Got the eggs up here. I might just slip the feather in here. Okay, just like that, and I think that's all I will do. So let's go ahead and get this on. Let's use this one. Come on, bad boy. Don't forget to check out my uh, um, Etsy channel, Etsy shop. This entire month, I am donating my proceeds to my shop to Linda DeWeese and her cancer treatment. Uh, to help her fight this naturally oh dogs are wanting in heaven forbid if we're to stay in the house where it's cool we got to suffer with mom in the art room okay so anyway starting now for the well starting somebody bought a, a book from me yesterday so those proceeds go so starting uh, was it yesterday or the day before? It doesn't matter because I've only sold one book. But starting with the book yesterday, I'm going to go for four weeks. And, uh, and that is going to go. So if you would like to help, help uh, with a good cause, go buy a book or junk pack, scrap pack, or whatever I've got over in there. I can add more scrap packs if if I only have a few in there, but I haven't learned how to really sell those or present them, so they haven't really sold, but I have some scrap packs in there and books, and I think there's one sock, sock monster book left in there, and whatever else I can come up with to put in there for the next month. Oh, this is cute. I'm trying. I've got two boxes full of stuff of images and pictures of my family and stuff like that that I'm wanting to put in my journals. So I'm slowly, slowly using those. Come on. 
either comes out too much or I can't get it out at all. It's very persnickety. And now I got glue all over. I've saved her for like four or five years. And now I got glue on her. I'm sorry, lady. I'm sorry, lady. I'm sure you're still cute. You and your chicken hanging out in the barn door. There we go. Now, I want to stick this under, which I should have before I wiped it down. Come on. Come on. Well, maybe I'm not. Maybe I'm not. Maybe we will... There, that looks cute. I think I'm going to Fabri-Tac that. I'm too chicken to hope this dries clear. Let me see if I can find some cute little cluster or something to go... Oh, you guys aren't even seeing it, for goodness sakes. There. Let me see if I can find this cute little cluster or something to go right there. Okay, I found a couple clusters. That's too blocking it off, making it too square, I feel like. Don't you think it's making it all too much down here? But it's cute. I like it. I like this one because this kind of reminded me of nesting material. I kind of like that one just to bring it a pop of color to it. I think I'm going to do that one. It's not leaving me much at the top up here. But I'm hoping to find a little phrase or something up there, you know? love your chicken today or something. I don't know. I sure do miss my chickens. I surely do. I'm not ever saying never that I won't ever have them again, but for this moment in my life, I've got to not Till I start feeling better. And I know it sounds crazy because you guys are going, you're jet skiing, you're going to the dump, you're doing everything. I know, I am. Because if I don't, I'll just sit down and give up, just quit. And I'm not going to do that. I have decided on those days that I feel like, what did what did uh, my friend say? Feel like I have a, a bird that hit the window. then those, I'm one of those girls that that will get easy to do and I'll just, I'll do it. I'll sit. Because there have been days when, especially in the winter, I go through this depression and there's been days in the winter where I kind of pull myself together and look at the clock and it's two o'clock and I've done nothing but sit in that chair and stare out the window at the birds. So I am one, I decided I'm one of those girls that would just quit. So I am working through those bad times, like it or not. Right, Arlene? I know you're right there in that boat. You are my inspiration as to what a person can do. Okay, now, I feel like I need something around there. You know it? What should I put? Some Stabilo? Okay, okay, that's what I'll do. Since it's black, I will add some Stabilo. That is a great idea.
Next week I go to Columbia to the Lyme doctor. Kind of anxious. I'm going to stop by Topeka and see my friend Sarah. You know, I only met Sarah one time at Sisters on the Fly camp out. Where were we at, Sarah? Are you watching me? And I really liked her. And we have been friends on Facebook ever since. And she does junk journals and I never knew it. So I am going to stop in at her house and say hi on my way through to Columbia. And so I'm excited about that on my way back through. I'm going to go to the doctor first and then stop at Sarah's on the way back through. There we go, you guys. I got my cute little lady. My cute little chicken lady. Another art journal done, and we did it in 31 minutes. I'll probably tag something on the end of this. I don't know what. Not one of my whining times. Not one of my vacations or my dump. I'll wait till you guys tell me whether you really want to see all of G Birdie's life or not. I'll probably throw in some pretty flashes of turtles or something here at the end. I don't know if you can put still pictures in or not. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to experiment with that today. So there we go. Thanks for hanging out with me. Bye-bye. I wanted to show you my little collection before I pick them off. I've already picked 12 off of another tree. These are the cicadia shells. They come up out of the ground. They climb up in their little state and they stick onto the tree until they can burst out of their shell, dry off and fly away. I absolutely love collecting them. They're just gentle, little picking them off. It's just meditative. I know, it's weird for those people that don't like bugs, but you know me, I love nature. And uh, I have jars and jars of them in my house. I have shown my granddaughter, Rosie. She's now taken up the collection with me. We come out and check the, we check the ground also because, you know, sometimes the wind blows them off. I'm not seeing any of them. Here's a, here's a hole where they come up. They're in the ground for 17 years. It takes them to get from their pupa state to their adult state to where they come out of the ground, climb up a tree, and then be on their way. Only to live about 40, let's see, 12, 24 and 24, it's 48 to 72 hours to breed again and do it all over then they die isn't that sad all of that time but i guess their life is spent in the ground so that's where their their happy life is is in the ground this is just their bursting out to reproduce and and, and end their life i guess their life all happens where we don't see it so anyway I just thought I would take you on that little venture with me. Another little batch.